How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a re-review. It's been a while. A little bit of the Lagunitas Old Gnarly Wine. Yeah. I found this dusty little gentleman sitting on a shelf at a local place in New Jersey. And I just bought it on a whim because it was like five bucks. And I was like, oh, fucking barley wine for five bucks. Like an old gnarly wine. I'm like, I can get down with that. 10.9%. Um, and I got home and it's been a couple days. And I'm like, when am I going to drink this? And I'm like, ah, I'm like, I don't want to re-review it. I already reviewed this. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just double check. And it's one of the first beer reviews I've done. And by first, I mean the first 200 or so beer reviews I did. Um, and it was when I originally reviewed it, it was 2015. And I did the 2015 bottle. Okay. Pretty fresh. Um, in the review, I talked about how I dug it, but I thought I needed a little bit of time because it's definitely an American barley wine. I wanted to kind of sit and kind of grow and just expand upon itself. And then I found this bottle, like I said, super mom and pop place, place close to me. And I was like, 2017, I'm like, why is that making me think of things? So I looked it up. I reviewed 2015. That's the only time I ever reviewed it. That was the year that Lagunita sold, what is it, 50% to Heineken. In 2017 is the year they sold 100% to Heineken. The rest of their 50%. So it's kind of a nice kind of bookend on a little bit of gnarly wine reviews. And the other part is it's aged. Um, you know, this is 2001. Yeah, it's hard to find figure out years every now and then. And I don't know, I know they do the Julian dating in here, so I'd be able to figure it out, but I'm pretty sure this comes out really early on in the year because um, I did 2015 version in August. So it has to be at least before August when I uh, when I reviewed that one. If the timeline on this hasn't changed, then you know, we're in April. So we're probably almost spot on. Just on a perfect kind of four years here, as far as age goes. And now the one I drink fresh, so I kind of want to see what it would be like with a couple years on it. Guess what? I'm going to find out. So, yeah. So this is 2017 version. This is the year that they, uh, they were bought out completely. This is probably one of the last beers, I would assume, um, that Lagunitas had full control over. Not that I think Heineken has messed with the brewery all that much. And we'll see how it's aged. Uh, caramel due to water is what I expect from American kind of barley wine. Um, let's see what it says on a label. It says the first sip uh, is for thirst. The second is for pleasure. The third is for knowing. And the fourth is for pure madness. I remember reading that, actually. They have this super small print right there. You could screenshot the shit out of that and read that yourself because I'm not doing it. And, um, yeah, brewed and bottled by uh, Lagunese Brewing Company, Pentaluma, California, in Chicago, Illinois. I'm curious to see where this one came from. See if we can find a Julian date. We can. Um, oh, no. This is actually brewed at the end of 2017. 33372. Or is it 2437? Those are the two on there. So one of those, it's, it's, it's more than half. So we're looking at more like three and a half years in this beer. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Looks like a hazy, rich, a bit of age, American kind of barley wine. So, yeah. Good nose. I mean, you're still getting this kind of slightly piney citrus kind of hoppiness, but it's starting to marry. It's starting to meld. It's starting to come together with that kind of caramelly. Um, uh, not yet at sugar daddy, but getting there. A little uh, uh, creme brulee kind of brown sugar kind of caramel thing going on. So the hops are there. There's a little bit of orange in that hop. There's citrus in that hop. A little bit of pine bittering. There's a subtle tartness in this beer. Very, very subtle. I don't think it's really going to affect the beer all that much. But it's definitely present. Um, it smells like an American barley wine with some time on it. It smells like a barley wine, American barley wine, which I w would like to be several years older. But it doesn't smell bad. Not by any stretch. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, it's tasty. I mean, that's, it, it is kind of what I thought it would be. It's got that big piney resinous characteristic that is starting to give way. Um, that shows you how aggressively hop these beers are. I mean, it's lagging. It's, let's not fool ourselves. We know what we're getting into here. But you have this sweetened caramel wanting to be someday become sugar daddy, which it'll definitely become kind of just beating down the door on the other side of things. 
Mouthfeel's actually kind of soft, which I kind of like on this. And those hops come through. This pop of citrus around the back kind of leaves way for this kind of, it's not ghost of hops past when it comes to this pineyness, but you can definitely see that it's seen better days as far as that hops have, um, have, have uh, aggressive wise have been. I'm impressed about how poppy and how vibrant the hops are even at this stage. But that that English barley wine, um, that core of that caramel and sugar daddy's really fighting its way towards the hop, even though it's not there yet. It's a fun beer. Listen, this beer at five dollars off a shelf, like five minutes from my house, all day, all day on this. I am not gonna I'm not gonna cry foul on this whatsoever. But I actually went out of my way and I watched my full review of this when I did it, um, 2015. Uh, so, yeah, a while ago. Um, in the way I talked about this beer, and this is, you know, taken with a grain of salt because beers can change from year to year, year as far as batch versions go, so it's not like I'm drinking the exact replica of that beer. That being said, and keep going, that being said, on top of it, it's like an They're really, really consistent, typically, when it comes to their beers. I thought it would have aged into something a little bit more rich, robust, and kind of toffee-like. Um, it's actually, well, well, different from what I explained. What I'm tasting is different from what I explained in the video. I can go only go off that. I don't remember exactly what I tasted in. It's definitely lost a bit of hot presence. It's definitely gained a little bit of kind of caramel vibes to it. But I thought it would be much, much farther along based off of what I said in that previous video. But it's a fun experience. Listen, I go. I went into this not expecting amazingness. Listen, this place I bought it from, it's probably been sitting on their shelf since 2017. And I've been in this place a handful of times over the past couple of years. And a couple of times I've walked in there and like their, their sewer broke and it smelled like garbage in there. It's towards the front. They never have air conditioning on. I'm, I wasn't expecting much from this beer. But what I got was something really fun, really fun, really tasty, and just interesting. And that's kind of what you want when it comes to beer. Sometimes it's not a matter of, like, this is the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. I didn't expect this to be um, the best thing I ever tasted in my life. But I expected to have an experience and be able to kind of jog back some memories from reviewing it several years ago. But also realize the differences. And I think I'm doing that. I, I, maybe it doesn't come off well because I'm poopy about explaining things from time to time. But I know I'm tasting something different than I tasted then. But I'm tasting something different than what I expected it to age into. I think that's a, I think that's a fun experience. Let's put it this way. Put a cap on this. Tomorrow I have off. Tomorrow I will probably cap this. I won't drink the rest of this tonight. I will put this in the fridge. Um, and I'll finish it tomorrow. This is not going to be wasted. I think this is delectable. I think this is tasty. I think it's one of the better American barley wines, period, that I've had. I was just kind of doing this review as a little bit more of kind of experiment based off of what I, um, what I remember and what I listened to um, before I did this review. And I think it's a tasty beer, fun beer. I like Lagunitas. Their price point is amazing. Five bucks, I think, is a little bit less than what this typically goes for. Maybe that's what it went for back then. Um, we're talking about five bucks for a 500 milliliter bottle of really well done American barley wine. You can't really go wrong there. Um, and just really tasty stuff. A good representation of the style, especially even with the age on it. That little bit of tartness, the little bit of sourness I got on the nose, it really isn't there in the taste, so it's more something I smelled uh, rather than something I tasted. So it's not even like the beer's going sideways or anything like that. Just a fun beer nonetheless. Let's talk about it. Is it one of the better aged American barley ones that I've had as of late? Yes, it's not Mount Rushmore Sass, but it's really tasty and really fun. I'm glad I got to drink it. Valued availability, five bucks off shelf. I know they have more. I might go buy that other one and wait another five years. That doesn't suck. And I know you can find these. It's not like a one-off thing where I just found it. You can find these. And leave you with, if you like, well, we like this beer. If you like Asian American barley wine, it's quintessentially that's what it is. So if you like that kind of subtle ghost of hop past while maturing into a little bit more of a caramel caramelly creme brulee kind of sweetness have at it you'll find you will find m really hard to find something this tasty in, in this kind of shape for that price point i'm sure you can find an amazing american barley wine from 2017 for 30 40 bucks but for five bucks eh, 
there you go. Review on the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out in the social media stuff. Beer Massif. If you want to check me out in the podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully enjoying a little gnarly wine light right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>